back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Q&A on our home building process. I asked over on my Instagram um, if you guys had any questions and what you would like to know. So yeah. you guys <laughs> sent in some questions. So I'm going to pull those up and then we're going to be answering those. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first question. What made you guys decide to build instead of buy? Do you want to answer this? Uh, yeah, so we looked at a few houses, but the, none of them that we really liked, or at least checked off all our our boxes, basically. <laughs> um, and then in the area where we are building, uh, there's a few houses there that were for sale. We looked at a few of them. Uh, one of them we were actually at the verge of buying. Actually, you know, we were going to buy it, let's say an afternoon and the next morning we found out that I guess apparently they had the pricing on the house wrong or something like that and it was more expensive than what they had told us so then at that point because that house even though it was good it didn't really have everything we wanted uh, and now it was going to be more expensive too so then we decided you know what that's the area we want to be in uh, we weren't able to get that that specific house, but uh, I think the numbers worked out to where we could afford building our own house, and that way it you know, also have everything we were looking for, basically. So if you guys are interested, I'm actually going to have a video going up on the house tour of what could have been our house. So if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you are notified once that video goes up. And yeah, now for the next question. What's the process like? My husband and I want to build a house on new land we bought. So it seems like for you, you have a lot and you still have to um, look for a builder and everything. Our process was a little bit different just because if we chose to build in that specific area, the builder already was set. Like you couldn't just go out on the market and find another builder. You had to go with the builder that owned the development. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. So we really didn't have to deal with that, but um, so we went to the open house, we looked at a model home, and then from there we went and had an appointment with them at their design center. They gave us like a bunch of different plans where we just looked at those and decided which one we would like, and then once you choose that one, then they look at the lots that they have to offer which wouldn't be your case since you already have a lot, so it might be a little bit different, but from there, depending on the size of the home and just the layout of it, then you can choose which lots you can actually build your house on because obviously some of them are gonna be a little too small or they're just not gonna fit the dimensions of your home. So then from there, you have another appointment and then you go to choose out like your selections, so all of your like countertops, the type of cabinets you want, what kind of paint and all of that good stuff, the fun stuff. And they give you a price on what that would be. So there's always like a base level um, to the selections. If you choose anything above that, then obviously it's gonna be an upgrade and you will have to pay for that upfront aside from like the rest of the, like the house price, right? right. So I don't know, it's kind of confusing, but so aside from that, and then once you go into their office after you've done all of your selections and you like the plan and how everything looks, then you go in there and you sign a contract for them to start building. And if you had any upgrades, then at that moment, you have to bring um, the money to pay for those upgrades. And then from there, they start building and you really don't um, pay anything else on the house unless you make any other upgrades until the day you close and then they switch over the house to your mortgage lender and then you start your mortgage payments. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, so right now we're in the framing stages and I mean that's as far as we know now but it's been a pretty smooth process so far aside from you know like COVID which kind of slowed everything down. But yeah, that's the process so far. I hope that kind of sort of helped you. Now for the next question, what does the loan process look like while building? Okay, so first of all, there's like three different ways that you can actually build a house. 
The first one being you have a lot of money, you have the cash to pay for it up front and you don't have to worry about any loans or any of that stuff. Second one being you get a construction loan and do you want to talk about that a little bit more since you know? Yeah, I can talk about it. <laughs> the construction loan, so I think the ways the way those work, you have to have I guess it depends if you have somebody building your house or, or you're building it, but uh, you have to have your builder um, get with you and your builder, I guess, get with whoever you want to finance, I guess, the construction process. And it's kind of a short term loan, basically for the duration of the construction of, of your home, which once you're done building it, uh, basically, I think you have to pay it, pay it off. I don't know if then or in a couple of months or something like that. Um, which obviously a lot of times what people do is they get the construction loan, uh, go through the construction process, but then I think you have to be making payments while that's going on. Um, and then once the house is built, then they transfer over to, you know, whatever type of mortgage you would get, uh, which basically pays off the construction loan and then you're in the mortgage basically for the 10, 15, 30 years. Uh, the way that we're doing it is basically our builder and like she said in the previous question um, pretty much all we have paid let's say up to now is is the cost of any of our upgrades <laughs> kind of like a just down payment let's say uh, they're gonna build a house once the house is built then that's when we're just gonna get our bank basically to get our, our mortgage uh, to pay for the house so the only thing we pay for right now is, is just the upgrades which allows us basically between the time we sign to the time the house is built uh, pretty much we're not making any payments on the house so we can kind of save that uh, to either put towards the down towards payment. a bigger down payment when we do get the mortgage or or just to have some extra money saved I guess in case you know anything happens between now and then yeah and I think that's like a better I think way to do it because right now as they're constructing so all the costs are being carried by our builders so that includes they have like you know the electrical and the water bills and anything that they need to actually build the home and say anything were to happen like I don't know like a hurricane actual disaster or whatever then that's on them because they have their own like is it like bonds and insurance and all yeah. of that so if anything were to go wrong they would pay for that whereas maybe if we were doing the construction loan that would be on us so that would be a loss and then plus we would have to figure out where to get the rest of the money to you know fix whatever it was that got damaged or whatnot so yeah those, those are the three different I guess types of loans maybe there's like many more out there or whatever but yeah that's what so far we have um, came across and found out that to be the case so now for the next question um, how big is the house so first of all whenever Jose and I um, got married we lived at his parents house in a little I want to say like a tiny home and it was maybe around what like 400 square feet or so mm -hmm. maybe probably like close to 500 or like 500 square feet it was a bedroom a bathroom and then a little area for like the kitchen and for us to eat so then from there we moved into this house and this house is about 1400 square feet and now where we're building it's going to be around the 2300 square foot um, range so that's you know the ballpark for it so next question how long is the building process well, this obviously will depend on the size of your home and your location if there are any like weather um, delays or just supplies or anything in our case COVID actually just like delayed getting the floor plans back and all of that but that's not actually part I mean it's not the building process per se but it's what you have to get done before you can even start building so for us they told us that around six months is what it usually takes from the time they pour the foundation but we have actually been out there and they are moving like at a very fast pace so I don't really see how it's going to take the six months so maybe we will be moving in 
sooner than that hopefully maybe not i could totally be wrong but they are moving pretty fast so like i said this will vary depending on who your builder is and um the size of your house and all of that but average for our home size is um six months yeah i think it'll probably take more like four months let's say after they pour the concrete but we'll, we'll see i know one thing is i think they tell you six months or, or whatever dates they tell you uh more because in case there is any rain or any delays then that way you know you're not expecting for the house to be done let's say in four months mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it rains a week or they're behind because because it rained or something didn't show up when it was supposed to and i think that's why i say six months but the way at least the way they're moving right now uh, yeah. i'm thinking to be more like four months and then the other thing is uh, i want to leave this out because i know if, if you're building your home probably on your own lot or something like that then I know, I've heard at least from other people that the permitting process and all that takes a while. Um, with our builder, I guess, you know, they kind of own that whole development area, let's say. And uh, and with the city where we're at, I think they have a good relationship with them. Cause I mean, I think they said they were gonna start working on the permit like on a Monday. And I think by Wednesday, yeah. they were everything was good and they were already starting. Uh, work up there. That was so, really really quick because yeah. I know other people like wait like up to a month or if not more to just get those permits done and we went out there like within a week span and they were already <laughs> What happened to you? got this for me Oh good job Mama. So like I was saying I have heard other people take up to like a month if not more to get all of the permits required so that they can start building, you know, to do the survey and the import foundation and all of that. But we went within like a week's uh, time and they had already started breaking ground. They were like getting things going and moving and it was quite honestly just moving faster than we anticipated. So that's why I don't see how it will take the time they told us, but we shall see. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And again, Jose, in case you guys didn't know, he does work in the construction industry, so he kind of knows his, um, you know, whereabouts about this stuff. So yeah. we shall see if you're right or not. But yeah, so now yeah, moving uh, on. <laughs> oh. I know you always uh, under promise and over deliver. There That's you go. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to set my expectations like high and then be disappointed or whatever. So I'm sure that's what they're trying to do. Right. Hopefully that's the case. But if it's not, I mean, it's still good. But yeah, so the next question, um, where are you moving to? So obviously for privacy reasons, we're not going to tell you the specific area and whatever, but we are staying in state. And if you are new here, we do live in Texas. So we're staying in state. Something that was very important to us was um, to be still close to family, to have our kids like grow up with family and just be able to still see them. So we will be within, you know, some proximity to them but that's as far as we'll go there okay so the last question is what are you looking forward to the most well personally for me i think it's the fact that where we currently live now it's more of an older neighborhood and there's not really like any kids on the block or it isn't as friendly and just easy to go outside and have like Kaylee and aiden just play with someone else or neighbors not that you really can do that right now with everything going on but um that's just something that I really look forward to over there. We've already had like a neighbor that's building just a few houses down from us. They have a little girl and Kaylee has seen her and she is just so excited to be able to move over there and see other little girls because she is the only grand, well not the only granddaughter, there's another granddaughter, but they're like 14 years apart everybody else in between it's a boy so she doesn't really have any other girls to like play around with and all of that so i know she's looking forward to that and so am i so that the kids can interact with other kids and just have more of a, like a family um time and outing and all of that how about you yeah well like she said i think mainly being able to go outside have sidewalks to mm -hmm you know, walk on or, or ride bikes. And, and then I know we'll also have like a little patio area where, you know, especially right now where you don't really are able to go anywhere or, or anything like that. It's it's always good to at least be able to go outside and, and with a little 
patio area that we'll have, we'll be able to go outside, maybe, you know, have lunch or dinner or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, versus right now, if we were to go outside, we'd kind of just be in the, you know, <laughs> in the sun all the whole time, basically. Not that we couldn't have added maybe a patio here, but just the location is what really sold us on it. It's just very promising and there's like a lot of things that are going for that area. So it's just something we're really excited about. And the kids, I just, every time we go over there, Kaylee, I mean, Aiden's still pretty young. He doesn't know what's going on or anything, but Kaylee gets so excited. She's already like saying, oh, we're going to the big house, to the uh, like new house or whatever. And when we were driving around uh, there once, there were some little girls like riding their bikes outside and she just got so excited to see them and she's really looking forward to that. She's actually asked for a bike for her birthday. So I know that's something she's gonna want to do and we look forward to doing that with her and Aiden, um, just as, you know, being their parents and stuff. So being able to give them a little bit more of like an outdoor experience and just having them interact with other kids. It's, I don't know, it's just really more about the family quality time that we can spend over there. All right, so that wraps up this video. Thank you to every single one of you who sent the questions. If you guys have any other questions, then go ahead and either leave them down in the comments or you can send them over on my Instagram and then maybe we can do like a part two Q&A or something. And like I said, we will be having a house tour on that house that could have been our house just so you guys can get kind of an idea of what our house will kind of look like and we will go through and tell you guys like the few changes that we um, are planning to do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a like if you are not yet subscribed Make sure you hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys Bye.